Good day everyone, welcome to this video. Today we have a review on the TA 154A1, aka the Spirit Scoops. Now this aircraft I've had for quite some time, and obviously I've not done a video on it because I was debating doing a video on it until I obviously am reviewing it now. But um, this is one of the, I think I picked this up alongside the Japa Wolf, which obviously I did a video on the Japa Wolf, but I didn't do a video on this. I don't know why, but that's just how it works unfortunately, because I. I kind of forgot to do a first flight on Spruce Scoots. So as you can tell, this aircraft is a twin-engined interceptor, and it's actually a pretty good interceptor. With two 30mm MK-108s and two MG-151, it has very good armament for taking down bombers, taking down fighters, and with that, the best piece of advice I can give for this aircraft is split your guns. Now, if you don't know what I mean by that, go into your controls and you'll have light caliber guns and heavy caliber guns or something along that line. Um, and you're going to want to change that to your left mouse button being the light caliber, which will obviously be the 20 mils, And then the right mouse button being for the, the, heavy, mission, well, the heavy cannons, that being the 30mm MK-108s. That, that's how I play Spruce Screws, that's how Harry plays Spruce Screws. And personally... It's very handy to have that as an actual, well, very handy to have that, shall we say, as an overall capability of the aircraft. So, the Spruce Goose has two 30mm mk 108s and two MG-151 20mm. Very capable guns, obviously the 30mm are very effective, although they sometimes do spark. But, um, the 151s are probably the more reliable guns on this aircraft but at the same time I still would recommend trying to get the 30 mils to hit now obviously you're gonna have to learn the lead for that and I've actually learned the lead of these guns rather well but with Spruce Goose's rate of climb being somewhat average for the BR obviously you do get an air spawn sometimes you might not even get the chance to lead them because your lack of air speed against a bomber when you're trying to pull up for it so just bear that in mind, and you're probably going to want to fire the 20s instead of 30s in some situations, which may not get you a kill. Although sometimes it will. So, as, you, as I've already mentioned, like this aircraft has heavy guns, and it also has pretty good armour as well. So as you can tell, 50mm of bulletproof glass on the frontal part, 38 around the sides, and then a little bit of steel to protect the pilot most of the way around. This is actually pretty incredible for the aircraft, and it really does help with its survivability. And as you can tell, this thing can take a beating. Now, the wings can knock, so obviously these wings are mostly wood, because the inside of the aircraft is mostly made of wood, so you're going to want to watch that. And fires never go out on spruce screws for me. Some people have claimed that fires have gone out for them. I've never had a fire go out in Spruce Screws, so if you set on fire, just prepare to die in case you ask goodbye. That tends to be the situation that I get into, and well, Spruce Screws can take a pounding, but when it comes to fires, yeah, you're kind of screwed. But as before mentioned, this aircraft has very good guns. Obviously, recommended belts are 30mm Universal and 20mm set to air targets. Very capable guns, and I'll be brutally honest, I'm very happy with the aircraft as a whole. But personally, I wouldn't suggest this aircraft to anyone who hates twin-engine aircraft. In which, well, in that case, you're going to want to go for the German P-47. That's a lot of fun. And obviously, I have got a review on that, so feel free to go check that out. But even so... I had a lot of fun with Spruce Screws, and I've personally really enjoyed the aircraft. But anyway, let's get into the battle, and let's take a look at the TA-154 in proper combat. Now, obviously, the aircraft has no bomb options. Same with the French Yak and the Italian Spitfire, which I've reviewed already. Um, personally, the, the Spruce Screws doesn't need that. 30 mils can actually kill tanks to some extent. Well, the light tanks at least. I haven't tried on the mediums yet. But um, the 20 mils can also take out light tanks. So that that's a very handy ability to have. 
So in this battle, we, I was squatted up with Hairy Feet and Bertie Bert, obviously. Well, Harry decided to up tier a 202, which, I mean, whatever follows his bow. I, I can't remember his result. I think he gets like, one or two kills. But um, the firepower on Spruce Goose when you join the guns is actually so effective. I actually lagged in this battle and gave a, a bomber a hug. That's when you know you've got a lot of firepower. Let's put it that way. So obviously climbing up and obviously I'm with Bertie off my left wing and his Spruce Goose. He loves this aircraft as well, I can't say I blame him. Harry loves this plane, but obviously he wanted up to a bird, which... Only the Greybeards have the 202 German, and, well, I have one, so... I think it was one of the first German aircraft that I actually unlocked, well, like, the German Tech 3 aircraft that I unlocked. But... That's the thing, like, it's just one of those where... Like... Everyone loves it because I've not seen one person hate on this plane. I've I've always seen people respecting this aircraft. So as you can tell, I'm pulling up here and I'm starting to lob at long range for the 30s. And well, I do score a good hit, but obviously that's not enough to kill the Halifax. You're not always going to one shot, but I did do some good damage to him regardless. And obviously he he is going to take a crit later on. But here comes a Black Widow, which is probably one of the most important fighters for you to take on. You have a lower climb rate, for the, but for the most part, I've had better success at taking out P61s by forcing them to do what he's currently doing right now. By forcing them to get cocky and start taking head-ons. And, well, that's the best way to deal with them. Just drag them to your team, and they, they really do love head-ons, P61s do. So, here comes the Act 3, which obviously, if you've seen my review for that, you know how bloody well it climbs. This, it even out climbs Spruce Goose for its air spawn. That's how good it is. And obviously, I want to force the fight low, because, well, Spruce Goose works well on the deck. But as you can tell, I also need to save Harry's ass, because, well, Harry's gone balls deep, and as you can tell, it's not working out for him. He's currently got a P-36 bot, a Spitfire, and another Spitfire descending on him. Trying to give him a hand, but obviously Spruce Goose is not liking this at all. And as you can tell, I didn't keep pulling back on the elevators then. Now why is that? Well, Spruce Goose rips its wings at 9G turns. So be aware of that. The most I've been able to pull into Spruce Goose without ripping the wings off is about 10G. And even then I had to do it in like half second pulls. There's my first kill on that P61. I used the 20 mils on him because I had an easier shot with the 20s. And at that point, I fired both the 20s and the 30s, blowing that Spitfire to Kingdom Come for my second kill of the match. And obviously, I've got Bertie here to help me out, but obviously, Harry's just gone down to the Spitfire. Blew apart that Mustang in one burst for my kill number three. But at this point, me and Bertie are going to have to go on the defensive a little bit because obviously, we've got the French Yak coming in. But Bertie does actually do a great job of actually being, well, A, bait, and B, a good wingman. Because, well, I was already doing pretty well in terms of the match. But obviously, we've got a Yak-3 coming in. So I said to him, right, you keep on the bot, I'll turn for the Yak. But as maneuverable as Spruce Goose can be, I'm not going to be able to make that turn quick enough. And obviously, I'm going to warn Bertie at this point. Bertie crits the P-36G bot, but obviously... The 109 comes in, that desperate to have been take Bertie's kills, which Bertie hates getting kills stolen as well, same with Flight. Um, he's not going to be particularly happy about that, because obviously it's a bot, it's not exactly harmful. And Bertie was getting the idea of trying team killing, but I was like, I've got a better idea, we'll use him as bait. And Bertie somewhat agreed with that. But at this point, I spot this PBJ-1J, and I decide, okay, let's go for him. And obviously, the 109 is making his way towards it, but I'm not letting this guy get it. And as you can tell, Spruce Goose ain't the quickest on the deck, but it's more than adequate for a PBJ. And obviously, the French Yak is coming in behind us, and well, I want to make sure that thing falls out the sky, so... 
I lob both 20s and 30s at it, and it falls out of the sky in many, many pieces. Kill number four. That's one thing Spruce Goose does well. It loves hunting bombers and it loves hunting ground attackers, specifically IL-2s, because IL-2s are juicy. Especially Boris's. There's one for Harry, because trust, trust me, a Boris falls apart to this gun, all these guns. I love watching Boris's fall apart. So at this point, I'm trying to pull in for the Yak, and I think I got one hit, which was a spark. But at this point, as you can tell by our tickets, that PBJ has actually done pretty good for his team by taking out most of our pillboxes. But at that point, a 30 mil sparks, and I was already like, don't you spark on me, don't you spark on me, and obviously we had Shadow in the VC as well. But... Bertie finishes him off, I get the assist, and we're going to try and find the last two guys. Obviously, one's already up there chasing a bomber, and the other one is a Halifax that I damaged earlier. But as you can tell, the 1 and 9 that Bertie was a bit annoyed about has actually lost his engine. He took the head on with the Yak and got smacked in return. But at this point, this is where... Bertie really does prove that he's a good wingman. I'm just going to jump us ahead. And, well, he says, if you want the ace, you can have it. And, well, he gives me the ace, obviously. that That's one thing I respect. Like, I'd do the same for Bertie. I'd do the same for Harry, and I'd do the same for Flight. Like, if they want the ace, they can have it. And, well, that that's just how good wingmen are. If, you, if someone's on four kills and they want the ace... Give him the ace. That's, that's how good wingmen should be. Now, I'm just going to pause it here. Now, at this point in the battle, I was actually starting to lag because of the sheer amount of explosions. And as you can tell, the lag has kind of put me in a bad situation. Yeah. Joe lagged, so... I gave the Halifax that had already fallen into a million pieces a bit of a hug. But even so. Did I care about that? No, I found that funny. That that was funny that I managed to lag. But even so. Bert is still alive, so at least we can end on the outro here. So what do I think of Spruce Goose? Great aircraft. I highly recommend it. Although, if you're not a fan of twin engine fighters, go for Chubby. Chubby the P-47 hit the ball is amazingly good when you get him wound up but unfortunately we do lose this battle to tickets so that's why it ends in the next 42 seconds unfortunately but you obviously can't kill medium tanks in this aircraft but i hope you enjoyed today's battle in the spruce group well today's review in the spruce goose and well i'll catch you all on the next one